This video is brought to you by Green River Community College Carpentry Technology Program with special thanks to Specialty Forest Products in Algona, Washington. Wood is the ubiquitous material in nearly all the places that we live, work, and play. In our homes, wood is the underlying structure or frame which supports and protects its most valuable contents, ourselves and our families. And wood is often the beauty that defines the interior of our homes, with its rich colors, flowing grains, and smooth, enduring surfaces. This video will explore some of the most common species of wood that we find in our homes and will help you to identify those woods and understand what their characteristics are. We will also highlight a few exotic and coveted wood species that are used in fine furniture, cabinetry, and the marine industry. Please note that pricing is wholesale and current as of May 2013. Prices will fluctuate with regional supply and demand and retail customers can expect to pay 50 to 100% more than wholesale prices, depending on the retailer and quantity purchased. It should also be noted that pricing is based on four-quarter hit and missed plain sliced material. Quarter sawn and rift sawn lumber will have a slight upcharge and consist of narrower board widths. S4S material will be considerably more expensive since additional labor and waste has gone into sizing and surfacing the wood. Let's begin with one of the least expensive woods available. Poplar has a color that's white, yellow, or greenish, and occasionally has streaks of purple. Its density is 0.35 to 0.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Hardness ranks as 540 on the Janka hardness scale, which is considered soft. It has average machinability. Its close relatives include aspen and cottonwood trees. Its grain structure has smooth surfaces and is very paintable. It has a low to medium decay resistance and is not suitable for outdoor use. Typical uses include painted furniture, cabinetry, and millwork. Poplar is not typically used as a stain grade material. Poplar is also used in paper manufacturing, forklift pallet materials, chopsticks, and as internal cores for snowboards. Poplar cost $1.80 per board foot for lumber, and sheet goods are available for $47 per sheet. Birch is next on our list. It has a color that's pale to golden yellow and a density of 0.67 grams per cubic centimeter, or about two-thirds the weight of water, with an excellent strength-to-weight ratio. It ranks 910 on the Janka hardness scale, which is a medium, density and is above average in machinability. Its close relatives include alder and hazelnut trees. Its grain structure includes very small pores and satin smooth surfaces. It has a low decay resistance and is not suitable for outdoor use. It's often used as plywood surface layers for cabinet interiors as it is strong and dimensionally stable as well as low cost stain grade wood. It occasionally has figuring or rippling, which is desired in visible applications. Like poplar, birch is turned into pulp for paper manufacturing. Birch was also extensively used in the airframe of the Hughes H4 Hercules, also known inaccurately as the Spruce Goose, which, even to this day, holds the record for the largest wingspan of any aircraft in history. Birch costs $3 per board foot for lumber. Birch-faced sheet goods are also available for $47 per sheet. Pre-finished birch plywood is also readily available and used for cabinet interior components. Next on our list is alder, which has a tannish or light brown color. It has a density of 0.4 to 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter. It ranks 590 on the Janka hardness test, which is soft, and has average machinability. Close relatives include birch and hazelnut trees. Grain structure includes small pores and smooth surfaces, and it has a low decay resistance not suitable for outdoor use. Typical uses. Since the turn of the century, it is commonly used as cabinet doors and faces due to its low cost and the fact that it stains well and can produce wood grain cabinetry of nearly any color. It has been called by some the poor man's cherry as it has a similar grain pattern as the more expensive fruit wood. It is also used for electric guitar bodies as it results in tight and even balanced tones. Alder costs $2.20 per board foot for lumber and sheet goods are available for $104 per sheet. Red oak has a yellow-brown to pinkish hue 
and a density of 0.74 grams per cubic centimeter or about three quarters the weight of water. Hardness ranks as 1290 on the Jankus hardness test and it has good machinability. There are many species of oak trees. Red oak is the single most abundant hardwood in North America, accounting for over one-third of all hardwood production. Oak has a grain structure of large pores running parallel to the grain with medullary rays radiating from the center of the tree outward. Plain sliced oak shows little evidence of the medullary rays. However, quarter sawn samples will generally highlight those rays. It has a low decay resistance and is not suited for outdoor use. Red oak is the most common hardwood used for interior millwork and cabinetry in the United States. It is also widely used as hardwood flooring. Red oak costs $2.53 per board foot for lumber, and sheet goods are available for $70 per sheet. The other common oak we find in the United States is white oak, which has a yellowish-brown color. It has a density similar to red oak at 0.77 grams per cubic centimeter and ranks 1360 on the Janka hardness test. It has good machinability. The grain structure is similar to red oak except with smaller pores. It also has medullary rays just like red oak. With white oak in particular, the log may be rift cut, which is a variation of the quarter sawing technique except at a slightly different angle, resulting in the consistently striped appearance of quarter sun lumber while minimizing the prominence of the medullary rays. White oak has a better than average decay resistance and is often used in the marine industry for framing of wooden vessels because of its resistance to rot and its high strength and steam bending abilities. Typical uses of white oak include arts and crafts furniture, in addition to the marine industry, oak is used as barrel stocks for whiskies and wines, and high-quality logs are made into veneer for residential and commercial interior woodwork. White oak also makes an excellent flooring material. White oak costs $2.56 per board foot for lumber, and white oak-faced sheet goods are also available for $86 per sheet for stock supplies. Custom veneered sheet goods may run up to several hundred dollars per sheet. Next we have hard maple, or also called sugar maple. It has a pale to medium yellow color with light brown or reddish growth rings. It has a density of 0.6 to 0.75 grams per cubic centimeter and a hardness of 1450, which is considered quite hard. It has good machinability. There are many species of maple trees. Hard maple or sugar maple is the most common used in woodworking, although soft maple is an excellent choice for paint grade furniture and cabinetry. It has a very fine grain structure with a satin smooth surface. It does not have a good decay resistance and is not suitable for outdoor use. Hard maple is most often used in gymnasium and ballroom floors because of its hardness and excellent wear resistance. It is also used in fine furniture and cabinetry. It takes stains well and can replicate the colors of more expensive woods like cherry and walnut. It is also used in guitar necks, pool cues, archery bows, and its sap is used to produce maple syrup. Hard maple costs $3.23 per board foot for lumber. Cabinet grade maple faced plywood is available for $82 per sheet. You can also get pre-finished maple plywood, which is a preferred material for cabinet interior components, and that sells for $65 per sheet. Note that this is a lower quality maple veneer, but with a multi-coat cured urethane finish similar to pre-finished flooring products. Black cherry. When fresh cut, black cherry is a light pinkish color. As it ages from sunlight and air exposure, it will turn a rich reddish brown. Special care must be taken before finishing to keep it out of direct sunlight to prevent tan lines and uneven coloring. Cherry has a density of 0.38 grams per cubic centimeter and a hardness of 995, which is medium in hardness. It has very good to excellent machinability. There are many species of cherry trees, including many flowering and several fruit producing. However, the black cherry is the primary species used for woodworking because of its dark coloring. Cherry has a fine grain structure with a satin smooth surface. It has average decay resistance. Cherry is suitable for outdoor use, provided it does not come in contact with dirt. 
Cherry is one of the most highly prized woods for furniture and cabinetry. Its fine and attractive grain is highly valued, as is its natural color characteristics which continue to darken over time. When something is in excellent shape or superb condition, we say it is cherry. Cherry costs $3.47 per board foot for lumber, and premium cherry-faced sheet goods are available for $90 per sheet. A favorite wood of Northwest Architects is Douglas fir. When fresh cut, it is a light yellow color. As it ages from sunlight and air exposure, it will turn a rich orange to reddish brown. It has a density of 0.53 grams per cubic centimeter and a hardness of 660, which is medium soft. It has very good to excellent machinability. Hemlock is often confused with and substituted for Douglas fir. However, hemlock will not develop the warm reddish colors of fir. Hemlock will retain pale yellow to light brown coloring. Douglas fir is nearly always quarter sawn and classified as vertical grain or VG for architectural and furniture applications. It has a fine grain with alternating light and dark growth rings from seasonal changes. The result is an attractive striped appearance. It has very good decay resistance and is suitable for outdoors and in marine environments. During the 1800s and for most of the 20th century, Douglas fir trees were used as the structural framework for a wide range of buildings, large and small. Old growth fir was readily available and forests in British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon were typically clear-cut, decimating the ancient forests of the Pacific Northwest. The majority of the remaining old growth fir forest that remains are either protected state forest or national parks. The material we get today comes from smaller privately owned forests or increasingly from reclaimed timbers from large warehouses and structures being demolished. Vertical grain fir has experienced a transformation of use in recent decades. Builders now value the straight grained wood and clean appearance for interior millwork and for fine cabinetry and furniture. Second growth lumber is now produced in managed forests and used for a superior structural framing. It will typically be flat sawn for most efficient use and is straighter and more stable than hemlock, spruce, larch, or pine. VG fir costs $5.20 per board foot for lumber, and cabinet grade VG fir faced sheet goods are also available for $103 per sheet. Now we have black walnut. Walnut ranges from a creamy white at the sapwood to a medium to dark chocolate brown at the heart. It has a density of 0.63 grams per cubic centimeter and a Janka hardness of 1010. It is very easy to machine. The grain structure consists of small to medium pores running parallel to the grain. It has very good decay resistance and is suitable for outdoors provided it does not come in contact with soil. Black walnut is highly valued for its attractive grain and natural medium to deep brown colors. It is most often used in fine furniture, custom cabinetry, interior millwork, and flooring. It is also used for gun stocks. Black walnut costs $5.04 per board foot for lumber, and walnut faced sheet goods are available for $114 per sheet. Philippine mahogany is also known as Luan or Maranti. Philippine mahogany is pinkish or light brown to dark reddish brown in color. It has a Janka hardness of 800 and has excellent machinability. There are many woods that share the mahogany name, including African and South American. There are also woods like Sapili that closely resemble the grain texture and color of Philippine mahogany. Philippine mahogany has medium-sized pores running parallel to the grain. It is notably the most uniform-looking grain of the various mahoganies. Philippine mahogany has above-average decay resistance and is a good outdoor wood, especially when it is finished with a weather-resistive coating. Care should be taken when finishing to a high gloss, as all mahoganies are quite porous, and a grain filler or several coats of finish will be required to obtain a perfectly smooth surface. Philippine mahogany was used frequently in the 1960s and 70s for inexpensive trim molding in production homes, often with a dark stain. It was also the wood of choice for Chris Craft mahogany runabouts and yachts for the better part of the 20th century. Philippine mahogany costs $3.80 per board foot for lumber. Sheet goods are also available and prices vary from $45 to $100 per sheet, depending on veneer quality. 
Stock mahogany sheet goods are often sold with Philippine mahogany on one side and African mahogany on the other. So ask your sales representative about this and be careful to know which side is which when using the materials. African mahogany, also called kaya, is pinkish or light brown to dark reddish brown and has a Jenka hardness of 830. It has very good machinability. There are many woods that share the mahogany name including Philippine and South American. African mahogany has medium sized pores running parallel to the grain. African mahogany often has wild grain patterns or may display a ribbon texture. Because of these complex grain patterns, African mahogany has a tendency to chip out when planing or joining, so extra care should be taken when machining this wood. There's also frequent wind checks or hairline cracks across the grain which should be noted and avoided if possible when purchasing. African mahogany has above average decay resistance and is a good outdoor wood which shares the qualities of Philippine mahogany. African mahogany has been a popular substitute for the more expensive and less available South American mahogany in recent years. Its wild and ribbon grain textures are often highly valued by woodworkers and fine furniture enthusiasts. African mahogany happens to be my favorite wood species because of its modest cost and beautiful grain patterns. African mahogany costs $4.47 per board foot for lumber. Sheet goods are also available for $96 per sheet for stock supplies, and custom veneered sheet goods may run up to several hundred dollars per sheet. South American mahogany, or also called genuine mahogany or Honduras mahogany, is light brown to medium brown in color. It has a Jenka hardness of 800 and has excellent machinability. The grain structure is similar to both Philippine and African mahoganies. South American mahogany is similar in decay resistance to the other mahoganies we've discussed already. South American mahogany is the wood of choice when it comes to fine furniture. It has been used throughout the centuries to make lasting heirloom furnishings since the wood was first brought back to Europe from the Americas. It is the most machinable of all the mahoganies and currently quite expensive and rare. South American mahogany costs $8.27 per board foot for lumber. Sheet goods must be custom ordered and cost several hundred dollars per sheet. Let's look at some more exotic woods now. Wenge. Wenge's color is a dark chocolate brown with thin, subtle, medium brown streaks. It has a Jenka hardness of 1630, which is very hard. It has average machinability. Wenge is often milled as quarter sawn to create the striped look, similar to the grain pattern of VG fir. It has a tight grain and is slightly porous. Wenge is very decay resistant. Wenge is an exotic wood prized for its rich dark brown color and attractive grain structure. It is often used as accent material or inlays on lighter woods. It is primarily used in fine furniture due to its high cost. Wenge costs $11.53 per board foot for lumber. Sheet goods must be custom ordered and cost several hundred dollars per sheet. Teak has a light honey color to a medium brown color. It has a Jenka hardness of a thousand and is average at machinability. Teak has a fine smooth grain structure and is most often cut quarter sawn. Teak has a high oil content which can make your sandpaper clog quickly but this oil content drastically improves its decay resistance beyond any other wood in the world. Teak is the ultimate outdoor wood. From patio furniture to yacht exteriors and decks, teak has been used for centuries as the preferred outdoor wood. Teak's beautiful grain and durability give it a timeless appeal. Teak costs $19.87 per board foot for lumber. Sheet goods are also available for $140 per sheet for stock supplies and custom veneered sheet goods may run up to several hundred dollars per sheet. One of the most expensive woods in the world is koa. Koa is an orangish red wood and has a Jenka hardness of 1550. It has average machinability and highly figured samples of the wood will be difficult to work with knives. Koa has a fine grain and is often figured in a variety of patterns including curly koa. 
Koa is exclusively found on the islands of Hawaii, where the volcanic ash, rainfall, and climate combine to provide the ideal growing environment for this rare and coveted species. Koa, especially koa with high figure, is sought after by guitar makers and fine furniture makers. Koa is one of the world's most expensive woods, and costs can range from $30 to $100 per board foot for lumber. It is often sold in veneer form because of its high price and limited quantity. Veneered sheets must be custom ordered or made by the furniture maker to minimize waste. The wood species we've discussed are only a small sample of all that are available throughout the U.S. and the world. If you'd like to find out more about wood species, check out World Woods in Color.